Who cares? I'm using it on my research subject. Where is it? Where the hell is my... Say hi to Jason. Let's get this in. There we go. What's going on guys? Mohit and today I'll be speaking about my experiment with RU58841. Um, if you want to skip straight away to the results and you know everything related just get to this part here so let's start off with what is RU58841 RU58841 is a topical anti-androgen uh, that describes it its effect by binding to the hair follicle uh, to the androgen receptor in the hair follicle and stopping androgens from miniaturizing your hair so from shrinking it down um, it can also be used for any other anti-androgen purposes like acne and all that, but it's not really recommended because it's really, really strong and very potent anti-androgen. And so, um, yeah, it's also not FDA approved. Therefore, um, it's not for human consumption, you know, but who cares? I'm using it on my research subject. Where is it? Where the hell is my... Say hi to Jason, whatever. So, I have used the compound on Jason, and um, Jason's hair was receding really, really bad after being on finasteride. So, Jason first started taking finasteride. Uh, he took it for around three months time, and um, after that, he saw decent results but they kind of started to hinder a little bit because what happens when you take the RU is that uh, when you happen when you take finasteride is that you are inhibiting sub 50, 60, 70% max of your DHT levels. And um, all that DHT levels that was supposed to turn into, uh, all that testosterone that was supposed to turn into DHT by, the, by um, adding finasteride you're inhibiting that so it remains as testosterone and that cause a spike in scalp testosterone um, which is less potent in miniaturizing hair but it's still there you know testosterone is still there and that's that was my problem that's why I started there um, I started seeing my results kind of hinder a little bit and so that's why when I was thinking about taking um, the RU so I started taking it and by the way, if you want to know how to mix it and all that stuff, I'll just talk about that in a separate video. So, therefore, Jason started to take action on inhibiting or competing in the, in the androgen receptor for that testosterone, for scalp testosterone that is going on under his scalp, that are that is still miniaturizing his hair follicles. So that's why he decided to take um, the RU. And what happened is that, if you see in those two pictures, those are a two months transformation from after being on finasteride and um, in two months later, uh, use of RU58841. So um, he saw pretty decent results, but the first day he ever took it, he felt some um, kind of dizziness. He felt some heat on his scalp. Uh, probably, I would say it's because of the uh, the vehicle that he's that he was using to um, penetrate the skin. So whenever you penetrate the skin, you have a lot of things going on. You see, so your skin kind of reacts. So that's why. And then the second day, he straight got used to it. So that's what he said, Jason. So Jason started his experiment with 25 milligrams per milliliter. He took that for one month, and then the second month he increased it for 35 to 40 milligrams per milliliter. And then the following month, in the third month, that's when Jason started to see his hair actually coming back. He started to see more growth, uh, less hair falling out. He started to see literally like remarkable results. And that's why he started buying, um, you know, hairstyling products. And he was like, oh, I didn't style my hair for a long time. Now I can style my hair, you know. It was working like magic for him. So after four months, almost four months of use till this day, um, the guy was working really, really hard, like working out, you know, going insane, literally. And um, 
So what happened is he saw his sex drive decreasing a little bit in the fourth month. And at that time, he also added the MK677. Mind you, Jason was on, on not on any hormones whatsoever, nothing enhancement. He just had some pain in his joints and um, he thought it be, it's because of the RU. While in fact, he was literally torturing himself on the squats. So, <laughs> so yeah, that's what happened. And he so he took the MK hoping that it's going to help him heal faster. Uh, heal his ligaments, you know, the, the, the soreness and, you know, whatever that happens, inflammation, whatever. And um, so what happened is right after he started taking the MK, remind you, he was really exhausted at that time. And uh, he started seeing his sex drive going down, his recovery is like, uh, not bad, but it's definitely less than what it was. So he straight away accounted for the RU, since an anti-androgen, he thought that, um, you know, when, whenever your when testosterone in your body gets uh, less stimulates or when testosterone in your body gets uh, decreased, you would have such a similar side effects like, uh, you know, pain in the joints, less energy, mood swings, whatever, sex drive going down. All that stuff. Jason decided to do a little test for that. So right now, Jason has stopped the RU for around a week. First, he did the blood test, and his testosterone, total testosterone, came out on 455 nanogram, nanograms per deciliter, and um, his total was around 10 to 12, I think. 10 to 12 milligram per deciliter, but whatever. We care about the total here, as I think is what matters. So what he decided to do, he cut off the RU, and he also cut off the MK. He's on nothing right now, except the finasteride. Remind you, he didn't have any size on finasteride, although the fear monger out there tells you, finasteride is going to fucking shrink your dick. No, it's not going to happen. And unless you are a very sensitive individual, and you have a very brutal... A hormonal baseline to begin with so um, yeah finasteride is not that big of a problem and so what he decided to do now is um, you know stop the, the RU stop the MK and he's he's going to take a blood test again and see if it affected his um, testosterone levels much because if it did, then we would assume that one of the two is the problem. So what he's going to do then, if his testosterone levels came out higher than in the first test, he will introduce the RU again and stop the MK. Now, we all know that the MK677 does not suppress testosterone, does not, um, it's not actually a hormone or a steroid or a sarm, but it's just a growth hormone secreted. So it stimulates your pituitary gland to, to produce more... Uh, growth hormones, you know, you know, growth hormones are responsible for you know better recovery, as they mentioned, and um, better hair, better skin, you know, so all that stuff, good stuff. Um, but it also stimulates your hunger and makes you retain water and weight overnight. So when I first took the MK, it was like straight away, uh, I gained like six, seven pounds overnight. That was crazy. Um, but it was all water. Nothing crazy. So yeah, that's what Jason is deciding to do. Jason is going to take another test again, and in another video I will detail you what Jason's results were after the experiment. And after he introduced the RU again, he will do another test and see what is going on. Was it just exhaustion from working really, really hard and not giving himself a break? Or is it because of the RU? And that's pretty much about it. Just wait for me to can they edit the other video when, uh, when Jason finishes his um, uh, his test. He has another test to do in probably two or three weeks from now. Uh, just to kind of check, you know. So I'll keep you guys updated and posted for that. And also I'll be detailing about the MK677, my experiment with it. And uh, as well as Jason experiment with it. And uh, also the BPC-157 and how it affected my recovery, you know, to heal your joints and all that stuff. So, yeah, so we'll be talking about that in another video, so I'll keep you guys posted on that. 
And anyways, that's the end of the video. Please subscribe and like and share and just, you know, spread it out. Just let people see. I know hair loss is a very sensitive topic and not everyone is going to talk about it. Uh, not much, to be honest. Uh, I just know like Derek and that's it. <laughs> Derek from More Place, More Days is the only one. He's like the godfather of hair loss, you know. I learned everything from there basically so that's that's kind of what it is so um yeah that's pretty much it guys and see you on the other video